Shalom, Mishpaka, and welcome back. All right, guys, this is what I'm looking at. Um, if, if you recall, when I did the video about um, Atomic Holocaust, I told you there was a few tables that I had. And it's probably been maybe a dozen in the couple of years that I've been doing this that there's been actually someone else working on um, the very same table. This is one of them. Um, the access term is Mashiach and Elijah is the actual e um, access term. And I'll show you, it only appears one time in, in the code. So if, if, if more than one code searchers are looking for Mashiach and Elijah, then guess what? You'll find the same table. And it's here only one time. You can see it at a skip of 2058. Um, so it's not surprising. It is not that big of a deal that myself and Ben Ezra found the same table. Now, he had some words in here that I didn't have, and I have words and, and phrases that he doesn't have. But it's the very same table. Um, and I think it's very significant, folks. You know, you would not have um, led me to, to see that someone was working on the very same table I was working on the very same night. Um, the, the odds of that is incredible. But this is what we, we came up with. And the title of this, <clears throat> that... Um, Lewis gave it was the coming of the snake and the reason for that is because right next to in the black and red letters you can see there um, is the phrase the coming of the snake now who is the snake well he is the evil enemy you can see here at a very small skip and I think it's maybe seven or eight letters uh, the evil enemy right here now, I want you to notice how these things kind of come to an angle and right angles here. It all seems to kind of concentrate right here. Obama's name is vertical right under, the, I mean, in the very same column as Mashiach and Elijah. His name is both uh, first name, Barak, down at the bottom, and capping the top, Barak. Uh, why is that? Well, Satan wanted to ex. Uh, Exalt himself above Yahuwah's throne. Uh, but you remember what Yeshua said? Or what's said about Yeshua? That he would come and crush the head of the snake. And look at this. Yeshua standing on the head of the snake right there. We have the wrath of Yahuwah. And there's also a star with the Vav connecting to the actual access term, Kachav. Uh, wormwood was um, very present, uh, very significant present in this. We also had the Moedim, the appointed time, who always works in appointed times. He is not random. He has a timeline. Just like Yeshua would say, it is not my time yet. It's because he was on a time schedule. Now, the two dates that was in here, two years, 2015 and 2016. 2015 is not real impressive. I mean, it has good proximity to the access term, but the smallest skip is actually 2016. You can see this 2016 here, and it's also, just like in the Nibiru table, 2016 written backwards in the plain text. Um, we've got the two witnesses also right above that, and Israel with Wormwood is also in there. We also have Dom, which is blood. Irech Emin, which is moon days. So we got blood moon days right there, coming together at a 90 degree angle, all these 90 degree angles. Look at this. Um, in the end of days, which is right here in that scripture, coming at a 90 degree angle is the Shemitah. The Shemitah is for the children of Israel. But it's also a sign um, in a pattern that you who is left laid out. The sign is seven, or the pattern is seven, excuse me. And you can see there's uh, a series of sevens in here uh, with the word Shalob or rapture. Um, 777. Uh, it's also the seventh, and we got Shavuot in here. Uh, there is a Jubilee as well. Now, just think about this, folks. All of these terms, and, and I'm talking about in many, many, many letters, which makes it even more impossible that this could happen on accident. When you're dealing with three and four letters, it's not very significant. And some of you have been watching another channel where he's doing. Um, terms where three and four letters is abbreviations. P values don't, folks, when, you, when you're talking about P values and probability and statistics, 
uh, you're going to get a lot of hits uh, because those those letters have a high pre, uh, p value. What you see in here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 letters. 14 letters of a skip, which is, the, uh, and he's got here the four blood moons, which is not exactly correct of what that is. It, it means, and the coming of the four blood moons there, uh, right on top of the evil enemy, uh, which is connected to Obama's name, the evil enemy, uh, the Vatican, also here. Uh, we have uh, seven stars. He's connected with the Bet in Sava, uh, Savot. Um, stars. Yeshua is also in here connected with the Iron and Wormwood. Um, and Dragon. Now, this is really important because I, what I did was I went back to some of the tables that I were looking at. Uh, last year that, that seemed to have a, a significance in 2015 and 2016 and um, that's why I went back to this one folks this is an amazing uh, table the comet is there's also a comet in here you can see there but dragon was what really um, sparked my interest because I've been looking for wormwood for many years and now dragon is a reference to that the the, the red dragon the fiery dragon that is in the heavens. Now, what is that? It's a symbol. That's a sign of something. Um, so I want to take you over to the actual table that I'm working on here. Uh, this is it. Very same one. It's just blown up. Uh, in that table that we were just looking at, you, I didn't show you Netanyahu's name. Crossing over Obama right there. Uh, now, I went back and looked for Nibiru in here. Now, I want you to notice the resh in dragon, which is the red letters. Nibiru shares the resh with dragon. It's in the same line. I mean, it is essentially the same skip and same letters that kind of train together, sharing the same letter here. Uh, amazing how that is. Um, also, I found Nibiru in the plain text, written back, uh, excuse me, forwards, but it's, it's, uh, it's not normally in your text as Nibiru. This is an anomaly called abacus effect you know how an abacus has little beads that you slide back and forth well the same thing can happen in hebrew letters you can slide one letter back and forth in the line that we're working in and it'll spell out a word uh, not normally there um as you can see I'll, I'll undo this and you can see it's a combination and this is where we are right here you see how we have blue letters which is a word and black letters if you see on my screen you got blue and black if everything was black or everything was blue, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't be able to tell what words were what. It would just be continuous stream of letters all the way across. So with the black and blue letters, they're actually broke up. So you can see, and Ezra did this back in the time of Ezra. He went and separated the the words. So you see right here, Nibiru is not here normally. But if we're looking for Nibiru, guess what? Using the abacus anomaly, it appears. Nibiru, right there in the plain text. Here is, again, 2016 um, that, that appears in this. Now, I'm going to leave the, the actual PDF that we're working from on this. And you can find my, my stuff done with ana, analytics, um, annotations, excuse me, at Postscripts. And I'll leave a link for you to go over there and find. Just go to Postscripts from the link and you'll see where it says codes not charts but codes if you go there lewis has got all um the tables that i've done um with english not only that if you look to the far right of his page there's also a bible code app with all of my tables on there that you can have for your iphone absolutely free uh, and thank you for whoever did that i don't know if it was lewis that did that or somebody lewis knows that did it uh, so let's look at the actual verses that we're working from here, which is um, the midbar. Um, we're in the 24th chapter. Just give me a moment here. 24, uh, 14. And now, behold, I go unto my people. Come therefore, and I will advertise to thee. Listen to this now. 
because this is time specific. This is not 100 years ago. This is not 1,000 years ago. This is time specific to where we are now. We are in the latter days. So when he says here, and now, behold, I go unto my people. Come, therefore, and I will advertise to thee what this people shall do to thy people in the latter days. We're talking about the coming of the snake, the betrayer, the spoiler, the children of Israel, the coming of the snake. And he says here, thousands of years ago, and I mean 4,000 at least, he will show what thy people will do in the latter days. And he took up a pair of, uh, and we're talking about the Gentiles. Balaam was a prophet of the Gentiles. So he took up a parable and said to Balaam, the son of Beor, hath said, and the man whose eyes are open hath said. And he said, and he heard the words of Yahuwah, which he knew the knowledge of the Most High. Balaam was a Gentile that knew the Most High. And he saw a vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. And I shall see him but not now, and I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, a scepter that shall rise out of Israel, and he shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy the children of Sheth. Um, that is also where we have Nibiru and dragon. The dragon is cast out, He's, and he takes the third of the stars, the moon and the stars with him. So... Um, <clears throat> or the third of the moon and stars are smitten. and are there, In other words, there's some sort of impact. Now, if you can if, attribute the dragon, as if you've seen in Gil Broussard's charts and his studies, which is the great red dragon, you have Nibiru connected to the dragon. And as it comes in, and it brings that debris trail with it, it's going to smite, it's going to impact the sun, moon, and the stars. Uh, and when it says stars, I mean, I, I believe it means planets. Uh, Chakav is planet, but it also means star. Uh, our our planets are um, moving stars. They have an orbit. So they're going to go through a debris trail and they're going to be smitten. One third, it says, that that's going to happen to uh, right through that line there. And I think that was the only one really significant. This one really, uh, I just thought was interesting because it had Yahuwah's name running through it. It also shares a letter with the Hay in um, 2015. We'll just go ahead and read there anyway. It's um, Devarim 14, 27. And the Levite that is within the guy, thy gates, thou shalt not forsake him. For he hath no part nor inheritance with thee. If you remember the, the Levites, have an inheritance with Yahuwah. He, everything from the temple, the, the offerings that came in, the sacrifices, they would partake of that. That was a part of their, uh, their inheritance from Yahuwah. They didn't get an inheritance from the tribes. They were set apart and separated from the rest. And it says, um, and at the end of three years, thou shalt bring forth all the tithe of thine increase the same year, and thou shalt lay it upon thy gates. And the Levite, because he hath no part, no inheritance with thee, and the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow, and all which is within thy gates shall come, and they shall eat and be satisfied. The Adonai, thy Elohim, may bless thee in all the work of thine hand which thou doest. Uh, and this is the work of the, the priests there, and the Levites, taking care of the congregation. They had no inheritance. The fatherless had no inheritance. The widow had no inheritance. All of these had no inheritance. But who takes care of them? Yahuwah. At his house, he takes care of them. All right. Now, let me just flip back to the actual... Uh, oh, and that's another one I'm working on. We're going to show you some of the things I'm working on before we close out today. But this is um, this is the actual Nibiru um, table that I posted that actually has the scriptures. I mean... If, if the model shows, and we go through the stories of the Bible, and there's these things that happen, and uh, what Gilda has done is he's painstakingly through time uh, laid out all of these, these uh, events by the dates, and he layered over that the, the uh, supposed pattern of Nibiru. Uh, they seem to line up, uh, and which is exactly what was pointing out in this, this table here. Um, when it talks about the sundial or the steps of the uh, 
the steps that had this, the, the sun go back 10 degrees. That's the story here, running right through Nibiru, which is also connected to um, Wormwood running through there. But the other thing was, 2016 again, written backwards. Something written backwards generally means uh, it has to do with the Gentiles, which is, if you, think, if you imagine uh, Jerusalem as a center, everything from the right of Jerusalem is from right to left. Everything from the other side is from left to right. When you're writing, uh, if you think about it, all the countries from the left or the right of Jerusalem, they all write backwards compared to what we in um, the Western countries right left to right here it is and i said all that but but the point is uh, there's two things that can happen it could be from the gentiles or it could be uh, a judgment a negative number in it usually in, indicates a judgment so we've got 2016 written backwards in the text i also found uh, judgment the word judgment um, several times here you can see right there in the green it's also crossing itself so, and uh, behold, the days are coming, of course, is there as well. Now, some of the other tables that I've been working on, really cool here. This one, right, this is another one with really amazing uh, vertical anomalies that all come together in this table. Uh, we got the end of days down here at the bottom, blood moon, and Nibiru down at this corner. I mean, if you look at them, they're in the same exact skip same exact that's why they're in an angle to, uh it's very similar because they're they're exactly the same number blood moons and nibiru you've heard me say that i believe that the blood moons were uh, four warning signs or four stop signs in the heavens that we were to pay attention to not saying that something was going to happen on those days folks um there was nothing in the scriptures that indicate that something will happen on the blood moon days. The blood moons were just for us to pay attention that something is coming that we need to be prepared and be aware of. I find it interesting that blood moon and Nibiru, very same skip in this table. Are we supposed to be aware of this? <clears throat> and really, folks... Um, I know there's a lot of things on the internet about this, and, and there's sun dogs and um, you know lens flares and things like that. But why would the governments of the world be building underground cities? And there's not one, one maybe an hour from here. I, I saw, and some of the time when I get back up there, I'm going to try to get in that place and uh, take some pictures, folks, so you can see. It's got um, big turbine windmills outside on the um, top side of the of the facility there, but it also has big, huge train like tunnels that goes inside the mountain itself. So this is inside of a mountain, by the way. Um, they're preparing for something, and they're not going to tell you about it. I mean, if you ever seen that movie Deep Impact, I believe it was with Morgan Freeman, and uh, the reporter somehow found out about what was going to happen. In that movie, they were not going to tell anyone until the last minute when you cannot hide it anymore. And why? It's because there would be chaos and panic all over the earth. I mean, you'd have, you'd have people committing suicide, uh, murdering, doing whatever. Um, so that's why they don't tell us. Now, this is interesting. This is one of the uh, tables Rabbi Gladerson was working on here recently. And I believe the access term is, uh, he will come in the time of trouble. And it, that's the access term right there but what was really interesting is the number of vertical anomalies that that are there so right next to the access term we've got obama's name in the blue right there with connecting with the word pharaoh uh, we also have uh the son of jesse the son of jesse right there at the moed appointed time we also have the word of yahuwah the bar yahuwah yeshua said i am the word Son of Jesse is the word. We also have uh, 666 crossing over war, which is in, you know, war has appeared normally in these tables. The pattern has been three times in the plain text. This instance, it's three times encoded in here. So you can see the first one right there, a skip of one. Then we have one going this way, and then we have one this way. We also have America running through there, uh, the Mashiach. Um, 
my father is a king and Yeshua vertical and uh, Yahshua down here. That's the one I'm working on. So I'm reconstructing, uh, and, and most of these terms, he, the, the rabbi had uh, Obama uh, in a time of trouble, he will come, and the son of Jesse. The rest uh, is what I found. Uh, and then, of course, um, I'm back in, and this is, uh, several of you asked me to go back to this one, <clears throat> which is um, Covenant with Many. Uh, so we'll, I'm gonna do this on another table uh, video because there's a lot we got to cover here, and we're already at 20 minutes on this one. So, folks, thank you for supporting this ministry. Please thumbs up and share the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you're not gonna find any any uh, Bible codes like this. This is anointed. Uh, most of the Bible code researchers on the internet are Orthodox or secular Jews, and they will not search past the first five books. Um, Myself and maybe one other I know of that are doing um, codes from a you know a Christian quote Christian perspective, I will tell you that uh, one of the things I've been following in this is Rouhani uh, from Iran. He's been doing a lot of traveling here lately and making allies. He appears in this uh, very strongly right across the top there, right with Korea. North Korea is running right through. Um, this access term. But we're going to do this one in another video, of course. Um, as you can see, all the verses that pertain to this are significant. They're all about the end days. And uh, again, the anomalies that happen in this, at this skip of 3666, is beyond uh, probability. This is improbable that this would happen on accident. You will put this here. And uh, he absolutely knew that we were going to have software to discover this, to unlock what is encoded or what is sealed in his word. So again, we'll get into this table uh, in another video. So I just want to close this out, say Yeshua bless you and keep you, and uh, thank you for watching this video.